the rooting mat. You'll need chalk, a watercolour pencil. This is a Prismacolor. Similar to what you use for the eyebrows. We won't be sealing it on because you're going to wash it off later. Start with the chalk because you can remove it. You don't have to use the pencil if you don't want to after, but the chalk will rub off. So your first line goes down the middle here. So hold the head so that you can just see the tip of the nose and then draw your line, if you can draw a straight line, straight down the back. You don't have to go all the way down. And then you want a line from the point of the ear going back across the crown on both sides. And that is the center of your head or your crown. You can move it to the side if you want to. And that's how you start your swell. So we'll do the hairline. So you want a C shape. So start about here, going forward. Hold it so the centre line is facing you. And go around the natural shape of the head. If you've used the heat set matte varnish, it will help the chalk go on. If you haven't, you may have a little issue getting the chalk like here, there's a patch where it's not very thick. Go on. So that's your front C shape. And to do the side, do a little divot in here where the temple is. And go up and join into that C shape. Depending on the style you're going to use. So again, refer to Google Pictures of Real Baby. You don't have to do the exact same shape. Depends on the baby and the style of hair you're going for. So do that again on the other side, into the temple, above the ear, and around. And just make sure it's even. So this side is lower at the hairline, and this side is higher. So we're going to fix that to make it more even. I couldn't draw a straight line if it my life depended on it, as my camera person will tell you, except she's gone quiet. So it's still not even. So if you can't get it even, pick a side you like best and try to mirror that side. So I'm liking this side best. So I'm going to wet my finger and just wipe it off. That's why we use chalk before we use the pencil. Go down a little bit lower. Should be about even now. Once you've got that even, you want to go down around the back here. This is the base of your hairline along in this crease under the head. Having some technical issues with chalk. And Nicole is saying you are a technical issue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we can start our swell. So I am going to fix the front hairline later. I just want to quickly show you how to do your swell. And then you dampen the tip of your Prismacolor pencil and go over it with that. Because it won't rub off as easy. But once you're finished rooting the hair, seal it inside. And then we wash the hair and it'll get the pencil off. Because it's water soluble. Which is why we had to seal the eyebrows quite well. So I'm going to start here and just do a curved line in four different spots, kind of like a pinwheel. And I always start with the head face facing me. So I want him to have hair that's going straight forward in this section and then curving around in that section. Then we do our little curves around this way like that. Okay. 
So that's my rough rooting map. I'll make some changes to it and then I'll come back. So I did a little bit of cheating. I always have trouble doing the hairline. So I've measured from a certain point away from the eyes, the corner of the eyes, back and then up on both sides to try and get it even. Um, and then cut out a little semicircle thing to help. It doesn't matter if it's not exactly symmetrical because as you can see, his face is not which is probably my fault from when I kind of melted his head. So he didn't exactly melt. He just had to lay flat where I dealt with a very stupid cat who fell off a roof. No, the cats don't normally get to go on the roof, but um, he's special. So that's the top. Uh, I've got her in a bowl because it just helps hold the head. Side. This side. As you can see, it's already rubbing off just from what I've done, which is why I use the pencil. So I'm going to dampen the tip and go over all of those lines with the pencil and it won't wipe off as much. As you're rooting, I spray the hair to keep it damp. And that's one of the main reasons the um, chalk will come off as well as just rubbing off. It doesn't do that as much with the pencil. And then when you're finished, seal the hair and you can... Um, wash this off. So I've gone over it in the water soluble pencil, just like this, all the way around. It is at the back too. One thing I forgot to mention is the color pencil you use needs to be either the same or lighter than the color of hair you're going to use. If you use say a black or a dark brown, but you're doing blonde hair, your lines will be easier to see but you don't want to take a risk of the color bleaching onto your blonde hair. So always use a similar color pencil to your hair. 